Hey you beautiful people, it is Maggie Liz and I honestly totally forgot to record this video until literally fucking Christmas Eve. Not Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. <laughs> but this is 2021 in review and I honestly have a lot to talk about but I also don't like it's not as much as I feel like I usually talk about because it's like this life. This year has just been one ball of a mess. So let's go back all the way to January where I quit my job at Sonic. Yes, that was this year. It feels like that happened like two, three years ago, but it just happened at the beginning of this year. So uh, basically I quit after my boss got fired because I knew shit was about to hit the fan and yeah, I was like, nope, fuck this. So I ended up leaving. I ended up quitting on the spot. It was like done. Well, I quit like a couple days later on the spot. Like, I messaged my boss, well, my uh, uh, supervisor, and I was like, yep, I quit. Deuces. <laughs> um, and then I started working at Subway with my uh, boss that got fired. And, yeah, that was a fucking train wreck. Uh, I don't know why I ever thought it would be a good idea to work with her again, because me and her, like, had our, like, good days and bad days. Like, whenever I first started, it was all good days, you know, like, it was going great at first and then she decided to be a fucking bitch and decided to treat me like shit and like someone would base like I never actually posted why I quit Subway like I actually never ended up posting that video um but basically like she would call me out in front of everybody and like if I miss shit but like if someone else missed something she would pull them aside and be like hey you missed this like try to remember next time or whatever me on the other hand no we had a group chat and she would literally fucking call us out well call me out on it so that's how I quit I messaged the group chat and just said I quit left it and blocked her ass so that's how that went so yeah uh I lost a friendship this year as well um a girl that I was very good friends with, that I also worked with at Sonic and Subway, I'm no longer friends with. I basically, shit happened in her life and it kind of showed her true colors, her toxicity, and I was just like, nope, I'm not doing this. <laughs> not doing this. And uh, she also ghosted me for like two, three weeks, wouldn't message me, nothing. So I, when she tried to message me, I ghosted her back. I just never responded, unfriended her. That friendship was over. Um, let's see, what else? Obviously, my health issues. Uh, I've had a lot of health issues this year. More than I've ever had. Like, I've, like, I've had ulcers for a long time. But, like, they weren't really that bad. Except for, like, when I was younger. Like, when I was, like, 14-ish. When I found out I had them. But now my ulcers are worse. I have another one. Not just one now. I have two. And then my liver is, so it was measuring 19.5 centimeters when a normal female, according to Google, is only supposed to be about 7 centimeters. But the fact that I am a little bit bigger, I would assume my liver would have been probably, the normal size would have been like a guy's size, which is like 9.5. Still, 19.5 is big. And I went and got a CAT scan done. Well, I got an ultrasound, that's how I found out about my liver, and then when I got a CAT scan done, it's more swollen, so yay. Uh, but I've been losing weight, uh, I'm down about 60 pounds now, mainly for that reason, also the fact that I have so many health issues, I'm just never hungry, so I work all the time, I barely eat, I'm on my feet all the time. I've been losing a lot of weight. Uh, I definitely would not recommend you to uh, lose weight in that way. 100% do not. Because you need food. It's just with me having health issues and me being in pain and sick all the time, I can't. So, back in June, uh, which was around the time my health issues really started, is when I started working at uh, Walmart, which is where I work now. Which is how I've been able to afford having these health issues. Because if not, I would be screwed. Because I would not have insurance any other way. I have insurance through my work. So, um, yeah, if it wasn't for me working at Walmart, I 100% would not be able to afford all this. And, yeah, I would be screwed 
And I also am finally getting new glasses because my glasses I've had for like four years, but I have astigmatism. So my eyesight changes constantly. It can get better, it can get worse. I'm pretty sure my eyesight's gotten worse. So like I will literally be sitting here and like my TV is like maybe like 10 feet away. I will be trying to read shit on like YouTube, like YouTube titles. It takes me like at least like 10, 15 seconds to actually read the title because I'm trying to see what it says, but my eyes just, it's just slightly blurry. So like I know I need new glasses. So I am um, Wednesday in a couple days. So thank God, because um, I really need new ones. I also finally got my teeth fixed as well. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have, like, a really bad, like, chip in front of here. I used to have, like, a couple, like, really bad cavities, like, up here and down here. It's all fucking fixed now. Like, my teeth are fixed. Uh, I just need to get two crowns. And then I need to get a wisdom tooth surgically removed. But I'm going to wait till like, next year to do it. Uh... Because, like, by the time I was, like, 15 or 16, like, my wisdom teeth already grew in fully, pretty much. But I have, I think, the top two already removed, and I still have the bottom two, but this one is broken. So they're just going to surgically remove it. I don't know if they're going to do, like, the whole uh, uh, anesthesia stuff, or what they do with, like, the wisdom. If so, I will record that footage. Don't worry, I will make sure someone's recording, because I will say some crazy shit, and I already know it. But the fact that they're already grown it, so it's not going to be as much, like, as, like, a serious surgery as, like, wisdom tooth surgery removal. So I don't know if they're going to do that. So don't, don't get your hopes up, because I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Um, i trying to think of, like, what else happened this year. <laughs> this is, like, the first year in, like, a few years I've uh, stayed single. Like, I don't think I've dated anyone this year, have I? No, I haven't first year I've been single so it's weird <laughs> I'm also like I said I'm recording this on Christmas and I got this hoodie that my sister got me and it says um not a phase and it has the asexual colors as the moon phases and then I also let's see if I can I'm trying to move my ring light with it I have these they're like a They're asexual color as well. <laughs> I love it. Um, trying to, what else happened this year, guys? Come on, like help me out here. So also, I can't remember if this happened this year or if it was the end of last year, but I did become Twitch affiliated. I don't remember if that happened this year or not. I honestly don't remember, but I did become affiliated on Twitch at some point. So this may have been last year's video and I just don't remember, I don't know. So. It happened at some point. I don't know if it happened this year, though. So I'm just going to add that in just in case because I honestly don't remember. I guess, like, I can't really think of, like, anything else, like, major that happened this year. But honestly, like, this year has just been the year that I've been taking care of myself, honestly. Which is probably one of the reasons why I've mainly stayed single. And because, like, I just have a lot of shit that I need to focus on, like, my health. Uh, things like that. Like, I quit drinking this year, obviously, because my liver. And I probably will never be able to drink again, which I'm okay with, because I'm not much of a drinker anyway. And even before, like, I had to quit drinking, like, I would take, like, a couple shots a night, and that was it. Like, enough to be, like, barely buzzed. So, wasn't much of a drinker anyway. So, it doesn't really bother me. But 2021 has been the year of health improvement, uh, just physical improvement as well. Like, I've lost weight, I fixed my teeth, um, things like that. Like, my insurance company probably hates me, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, this, like, they're probably thinking, this bitch needs to stop being sick and needs to just get her shit together. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, insurance company. I know you've had to deal with a lot of me since my insurance came through at work. <laughs> Which I think I got back in October, and I've already, like, like I've had multiple doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, different things. So, uh, yeah, they're probably sick of seeing my name come across their system, 100%. But yeah, I, uh, 
I guess that's it, honestly. Like, I can't really think of anything else that happened this year. Um, yeah, no, I can't really think of anything, so. It's been a roller coaster of a year, but not a lot has happened, but major things have happened, though. Like, may not be a lot, but it's major things, so. Um, I also want to give a shout out to my team leads over at Walmart. I love you guys. Uh, you guys have been there and you guys are awesome. And yeah. So even though Walmart causes me a lot of stress, you guys don't cause me stress. It's just Walmart in general. But I gotta go because I think my uh, family's here because they're coming down for Christmas. So I gotta go. I love you guys. All my social media is down in the description. My Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and TikTok will all be down there. And I love you guys. Thank you for an interesting 2021. I haven't posted much, but your guys' support means a lot, especially through this hard time with all my health issues. So I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time I post.